I'd like to welcome you now to the awards ceremony. Um, hope you've enjoyed your lunch. We're on, um, on schedule, and uh, this is one of the most rewarding parts of being the executive director, and certainly for the board of trustees. It is uh, the acknowledgement of our outstanding student teacher program and Silver Star. Uh, which recognizes business. So it's my pleasure to introduce the chair of the nominating committee who will um, MC uh, the program, and that is Dr. Mike Myers. He's a uh, dean at North Idaho College of Professional and Technical and Workforce Development. Dr. Mike Myers. Thank you very much. Uh, it's a real honor to uh, recognize excellence, uh, both in teachers and students and uh, the industries that support us. So thank you very much for this opportunity. I'd like to introduce the table. Uh, our committee uh, consists of Jane Hildebrandt. She's the program uh, coordinator or chair at Ivy Tech. Uh, Dr. Harry Bauman, he is the, uh, let's see, uh, he's the, help me again. The President Emeritus. President Emeritus of the Occupational Education Council. Um, uh, my my co-presenter will be Shelley Travis. She is the Associate uh, Vice Chancellor for Student Services. Also presenting will be James, Dr. James King of Tennessee. I think you probably have heard of him before. Of course, our, our esteemed president. And we will also have Rich Widener uh, also uh, presenting as well. So thank you very much for that group. Yeah. Let me start off first uh, by uh, recognizing the, uh, our, our first award, and that it would be the Outstanding uh, Student Award. And it really is a pleasure uh, to do this. And our first slide, uh, you'll probably see up in our slide, we've got uh, a, a typical look of a new student who comes to technical education. They tend to have that uh, bemused look of saying, I'm not too sure where I'm going. Uh, <coughs> But, but I love this, this picture. It, it is uh, kind of that, that long head, uh, you know, deer in the headlight look. And, and it's like so many of our students, they, they tend to come, uh, they don't always know what they want to do. They, they start off, sometimes they have to start again. So false starts, they come back. So it's kind of our, our audience is usually those, you know, late 20s, early 30, and that's when they really start to shine. Our, our recipient of the award uh, is, is a person probably very typical of that type of start. He, he started, uh, went out in the, in the community for 20 years, came back, and, uh, and Justin Jackson is that, that student. Uh, he's Central Lakes College, uh, Staples, uh, Minnesota, and he is in the Heavy Equipment and Operation and Maintenance Program. <clears throat> he, uh, he had kind of a, a tough start. He went through a number of jobs, uh, the next slide shows some of the work things he did. I was just talking to him just a minute ago, and uh, he was, he's now doing some operator uh, internship. He was also worked for a plastics company. He also uh, worked with wood floor installation, and it, for 20 years, he worked in those careers. <clears throat> he had some tragedies in his life. His mother uh, died at a very early age. He lost a son. Uh, and like so many of our students, it's a rough road to get there. But he got back in this college, he came back, and uh, he is now in that program and doing an outstanding job. And we're very, this is the kind of student we'd love to recognize for doing outstanding work. He is currently, uh, he has a GPA of 3.75. He also uh, is a club, he's, he represents the club both in the Senate, so he's a senator at the college. He also is the heavy equipment uh, club president, and one of the things he did tell me about, and I think it's, it's typical of a great leadership, he loves to mentor, mentor students, he loves to tutor students, and he helps a number of folks in that capacity. So uh, one of the things I really was very pleased to uh, see that he wants to become, after all the said and done, we were just talking about that, his, his goal is to become a heavy equipment instructor. So that, that's the thing. I, at this point, I'd like to say, Justin, congratulations. Would you please come up and receive your award? Thank you.
congratulations. Each year, ATEA also recognizes a post-secondary technical education instructor whose performance and contributions are exceptional. Innovative teaching strategies must be apparent and involvement with business and industry is absolutely exceptional for this finalist. Ms. Laura Chambers is our first finalist and she reaches out to her students in many life-changing ways. We know that instructors like Ms. Chambers are so important to the mission of all of our institutions. And Ms. Chambers, congratulations and thank you for what you have done. Ms. Chambers is a general education English instructor at Ogeechee Technical College. She obtained her bachelor's degree at Georgia Southern University, as you'll see on the next slide. And in addition to her teaching uh, career, Laura uh, was speaking to me the other day, and she told me something very interesting. She actually owns her own trucking company, One Way Trucking, and she was a truck driver before that, previously, with Chemical South. Um, so uh, Laura has a very interesting background that has led her uh, to her teaching career. She is also an active member of the National Society of Leadership and Success. And Laura, we want to congratulate you and thank you for all your contributions to technical education. Please join me in a round of applause for Ms. Laura Chambers. <clears throat> Our next award is the Outstanding Teacher for 2014, recognized, and, uh, and we're very, very pleased uh, to recognize one of our, our own. Uh, he is from Gillette, Wyoming. Uh, he works with our, one of our member presidents uh, at Gillette. Uh, Troy is, a, is an outstanding example of, of an individual that has really delivered well to the uh, and works in the college system and, and does what we the epitome of all the things we really love about teaching and students. Uh, Troy uh, got his associate's degree in welding. He also has a CWI uh, uh, and CWE from the American Welding Society. Uh, he is an honors, he graduated with honors in that program. Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society member. Uh, he has been teaching at Gillette College in Gillette, Wyoming. Previously, he taught at Central Community College in Hastings, uh, Nebraska, and also at Grand Island. I think one of the things that really distinguishes our outstanding teachers is that they're very active in clubs, and Skills USA is one of the clubs that I think all of us in technical education really love to support. And he's been a great supporter. Uh, many of the people that wrote about him compliments his student-centered uh, uh, in this, and he really works well with students in a number of capacities. Skills USA is just one of them. Uh, he also is the uh, he also organized the student AWS uh, chapter. So again, we'd like to recognize outstanding teaching and contribution. He works a lot with the community as well. I, I've understood that he's been very very active in supporting the industry and the local industry. So again, he is the epitome of what we really like to recognize for outstanding teaching. Uh, Troy, would you please come up and receive your award? Thank you. Next up, we have our Outstanding Technical Program Award. The Outstanding Technical Program Award recognizes a program that is exemplary and contributes to the nation's workforce. Instruction in the program must be current and cutting edge. Involvement with business and industry is essential. This year's recipient of the Outstanding Technical Program Award is Dr. James Sherrard's nuclear program at Three Rivers Community College in Connecticut. This program is a model of business and industry partnerships and how they can lead to student success. And also we know, Dr. Sherrard, behind any great program, there is an exceptional educator as well. So thank you for your contributions to technical education. The engineering program at Three Rivers began offering associate's degrees in 1983. 
and currently it is the only two-year program in the nation that meets the federal licensure requirements. It is also, and uh, this program has also been ABET accredited since 1989. On the next slide, you'll see, through a wonderful industry partnership with Dominion Nuclear, Three Rivers provides student scholarships in excess of $350,000 every year to its students, which I think is an outstanding um, example of what business and industry partnerships at their finest can really do. Because of the quality programs built by Dr. Sherrard at, Dom at Dominion considers this actually an investment instead of an expense. I thought in talking with Dr. Sherrard earlier that this was a true example of what technical education is all about and what we do when business and industry realize the value of our work and our students. In addition, his graduates can enter into the nuclear, any nuclear program, bachelor's degree program, as a junior um, automatically. And not only do the students have all of these opportunities, but as students are placed after graduation in starting salaries of in excess of $63,000 annually. On the third slide, you'll see ATA is not the only organization that has recognized this program's success. This program has been recognized for its excellence in education by ABET, Edison Electric, and the National Junior and Community College's Best Award. Please join me in congratulating Dr. James Sherrard for his outstanding work with the nuclear program at Three Years Community College. Thank you, James. At this point in the program, we'd like to introduce uh, uh, James King, who will be addressing the next award. Thank you. I've been waiting all conference to get this mic. Gosh, it's good to be up here. <laughs> now, it scares some of you, don't it? And, uh, you know, I had the pleasure today of, of, of doing two things. One is talking about the National Technical Honor Society and outstanding business and industry supporters. As we heard this morning on the panel, we can't operate without solid business and industry supporters in career and technical education. And hopefully they can't operate without us as well. So, you know, uh, usually uh, Alan Powell, the executive director of the National Technical Honor Society, presents this award, and he's having some health issues. And, and um, I had the pleasure of serving on that board of the National Technical Honor Society. You know, it was established in 1984, and it serves over 3,600 member institutions. The society sends a clear and powerful message that excellence in career and technical education pays. Uh, member institutions agree that the society encourages higher student achievement, self-esteem, responsibility, leadership, citizenship, and skill development, and much more. NTHS helps schools build business and industry partnerships in the local communities and nationally. They get, have given since 2005 over $750,000 in scholarships to career and technical education students. And this past year, they gave $160,000. So once again, your top students can now be eligible for these awards. And once again, it says that excellence in career and technical education pays. So they are the sponsor of this award. And we have two outstanding award winners today. The uh, first one, Arkansas State University at Beebe nominated John Deere Company uh, for the American Technical Education and the National Technical Honor Society Silver Star of Excellence. John Deere Company's outstanding support of technical and post-secondary education, not only to Arkansas State University at Beebe, but also to the 19 John Deere Tech programs in North America. The John Deere programs are housed in public colleges campuses, which the John Deere Company supports with its instructional training aids, curriculum, 
access to the John Deere University distance learning modules, and also classes for students and faculty members. They have been a huge uh, contributor of donating equipment. John Deere provides various training aids, components, equipment to be used in the different learning activities. The equipment remains on campuses during the school year. John Deere Company also provides access to cutting edge distance learning courses uh, for the John Deere program students and program instructors at no cost. The John Deere Company also provides significant cost savings to students who desire to purchase their John Deere technician tools and tool chests through the company. This is done through the Tools for Text programs and results in student discount on various tools needed for the program. They give financial assistance by providing scholarships. The John Deere Company provides scholarships money to the university for the John Deere Tech students participating in the program. The annual amount given by John Deere has been about $5,000 a year until last year when it was raised to $7,000. The John Deere Company provides paid internships to the John Deere Tech students who, en who are enrolled in the summer internship program. Uh, the John Deere Company serves on advisory committees and they are a strong supporter of Skills USA nationwide. So to sum this up, the John Deere Company is a great corporate partner with Arkansas State University at Beebe and technical education across North America. So with that said, it is my pleasure to award John Deere Company with the Silver Star of Excellence for 2014 with Ms. Jenny Batting, Manager for College Partnerships, come forward to receive this award. First, I'd like to thank the ATEA and the National Technical Honor Society for this wonderful awards luncheon and selecting us as one of the recipients of the Silver Star of Excellence Award. It's an honor to receive this award. We started our John Deere Tech programs 25 years ago as studies indicated that there is a critical shortage for service technicians in this field. The John Deere Tech program was just the program to help uh, fill this void. The program is designed to give students the skills sets and knowledge to enter the workforce as an entry level service technician. Students receive an associate degree as we feel that our technicians need to be well rounded. Not only do they need to have strong technical skills, but they also need to have the communication skills so they can communicate effectively to our customers and other dealership employees. We started out back in 1989, which is two programs in the United States. And today we have over 21 locations in North America. We have five locations in Canada, and we have, excuse me, 16 in the US in 15 different states. As John Deere is a global company, we're also expanding the John Deere Tech program into several different countries across the globe. As our equipment becomes more advanced, our programs continue to incorporate the ever-changing technology that exists in our products. I mean, who would ever thought today that a combine in the field harvesting corn can signal to a tractor with a grain cart and say, I'm full, tractor come out so I can unload on the go. And it can also tell the tractor what speed to go. Or who would have thought that a tractor could slow down at the end of a row, raise the implement, do its turn on its own, and lower the implement and change speeds. Those are the types of things that we are seeing today, and our students in the John Deere Tech programs are learning about those types of technologies. Uh, students have access to um, John Deere's proprietary software um, to diagnose our equipment. Also, as it has been mentioned, they have access to our John Deere University, which are uh, distance learning modules that can supplement the in-classroom material that our instructors are giving these students. 
Our uh, instructors are some of the best. They have industry experience and are always seeking out new um, information to bring back into the classroom, whether it's getting information from our John Deere universities or attending some of our John Deere training centers. Our instructors are always giving the best to our students. We truly believe in technical and career education, and it's exciting to go out and recruit students for our programs. Our students have a high placement rate in the workforce and have upward potentials within our John Deere dealership organizations. We have several students that have graduated from our programs and now are in management positions just after a few years in the service department. This program couldn't be possible without our partners. Those are our 21 different college locations, the students, and our John Deere dealership organizations. Without each partner, we wouldn't be able to see the success that we have today. I'd especially like to thank ASU BB for nominating us for this award. It's a pleasure to work with the faculty and administration at ASU BB as well as our other John Deere Tech locations. Their primary concern is the educational experience of the students. They're always looking at ways to improve the classroom experience and educational opportunities for their current and future students. Lastly, again, I would like to thank the ATEA and the National Honor Society um, Technical Honor Society for having us here today. Um, it's a great honor to accept this award. Also, I would like to uh, congratulate the other winners today. It's great to see a room full of people that are out there to support career and technical education. Thank you and have a great rest of the conference. And it's really an honor today to, to present two of these awards. And once again, it shows the quality of industry partners we have across this great nation in career and technical education. Northern Wyoming Community College District nominated Cloud Peak Energy. We're going to refer to it as CPE for the Silver Star of Excellence for 2014. NWCCD, I'm not going to say that once, is a community college district with campuses in Sheraton, Buffalo, and Gillette. Wyoming, technical education programs are a very strong component of the college district, and these programs are strongly supported by community and industry partners. Cloud Peak Energy is one of those strong industry partners. Their support to the college district has been invaluable and has been exhibited in many forms. CPE has, CPE has provided technical assistance, financial support, and donation of materials and equipment. Technical assistance has come in the form of internships, student co-ops, scholarships, and advisory board memberships. They have created and designed and hosted state welding fabrication competition for the Gillette campus. And, and a quick summary of the other numerous activities. Let's talk about the company first. Cloud Peak Energy is headquartered in Wyoming and is one of the largest U.S. coal producers and the only pure play powder basin region coal company. Phew. Um, as one of the safest coal producers in the nation, Cloud Peak Energy specializes in the production of low sulfur subbituminous coal. True. All right. You know, that came out several ways earlier that didn't sound really good. Yeah. <laughs> but it had to be said. Okay. Um, with approximately 1,700 employees, the company is widely recognized for its exemplary performance in its safety and environmental programs. Cloud Peak Energy is, is a sustainable fuel supplier for approximately 4% of the nation's electricity. Cloud Peak Energy is also active in donating funds for various scholarships for the students of the NWCCD. The scholarship program supported by CPE benefits education students as well as, as academic education students as well as career and technical education students. Cloud Peak also supports and is very active in cooperative education for students in the welding, diesel, electrical, and machine tool programs. The co-op programs provide many opportunities for students including tools, 
competitive pay when working with options for full-time employment when the student graduates, and the financial incentives of $2,500 a year per scholarship. Cloud Peak is very supportive and is encouraging students to remain in school to finish the degree program with employment offers to follow in their course of study. And once again, it's a strong supporter of SkillsUSA and is invaluable in playing a vital role in the local and national SkillsUSA contest. CPE has sponsored the Diesel Technical Contest for Wyoming SkillsUSA and representatives of Cloud Peak serve as judge. They also have judged and sponsored the welding fabrication contest at the local and national levels. Furthermore, CPE has provided materials to students to use to practice for SkillsUSA competition. Thanks to the support of companies like Cloud Peak Energy, the NWCCD welding fabrication team placed second nationally in 2013, and the diesel skills uh, con contest placed in the top 20 nationally. So it is my pleasure to award Cloud Peak Energy with the 2014 Silver Star of Excellence. Would Mr. Dave Traverso and Mr. Marty Brown come forward to receive this award? <laughs> I won't try to say sub but two minutes more than twice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate all the, um, the award and what the ATA means. Um, I wasn't real familiar a year ago what the ATA meant, but it means a lot more. And seeing you all here and the support you've given to a technical education means a lot. As you know, most of the, uh, the society has surface coal mining isn't, uh, has a few challenges ahead of us. And one of those we firmly believe is getting skilled people to work on the equipment. Um, through long-term partnerships with the Northwest Community College, um, we feel it's critical to support that when they're not learning in school, uh, they can apply that at, at the job site. So I just want to say thanks again for the award and we appreciate the opportunity and have a wonderful conference. Thank you. I told you, once I get this mic, I'm gone. You know, um, folks, we're going to take a, a five-minute stretch break. I want all the award winners to come over here for uh, picture making. But please do not leave. We've got one of the most fabulous speakers you will ever hear in your life coming up next. You know, you know last night we had a futurist. Uh, our speaker, next speaker, is an ophthalmologist. And one day I'm going to be a future ophthalmologist. So, so anyway, so take a few minutes and come back. All right, thank you.